I think that we can recognize attraction chemically. Within every conflict, there's always attraction. And when, within every attraction, there's also conflict. People like to cling to that idea of romance and magic and attraction. Human beings are much more complicated. We tend to think that attraction is just kind of one of those things that just happens. But I think that, especially in sociology, I talk about how it's a very complicated process that's kind of shaped by social inequality and culture. Attraction is not an equal opportunity thing. Most people marry within their kind of race, class, education. And students, they don't like the uh, idea of a kind of socially complicated process. This is one area of life in which people people want to believe in the magic. I study the primate sense of smell. I'm really interested in the system of smell that is related to pheromone detection. For instance, in wild boars, males will produce a pheromone in their saliva, which induces a mating position in females that happen to smell that pheromone. I don't think pheromones work exactly like that in humans. So if you are looking for something on the market that has pheromones in it, the pheromones that are used tend to be pig pheromones. It's not going to have that kind of effect on most humans, and it's probably going to smell really bad. When it comes to playwriting, playwriting is all about conflict, right? And one of the most interesting forms of conflict is um, attraction and forms of stunted attraction, um, forbidden attractions, right? I do have this one play I've been working on for some time. It's basically this play about this gay Filipino-American ghostwriter and his relationship with his white client. Different types of people coming from very different um, backgrounds. It's a very politically incorrect relationship, but that's what makes it so sexy for those two characters. I hesitate to think that there's a single equation for attraction, right? There never is. I do think that some people just work better together. People always talk about the first spark. It's got to click. It's got to click. And you ask them, what does that mean? And of course, no one knows. And I think that's precisely the intriguing and attractive thing about it, is the magic.